Hello students. So today we are going to study what are the different types of bonds present in DNA. This is the sugar, deoxyribosugar. This is first carbon, second carbon, third, fourth, and this is fifth carbon. So here we are finding it is making glycosidic bond with the first position. And glycosidic bond is made with the nitrogenous base. So this is your bond that is glycosidic bond. At the fifth end, phosphate is attached, phosphoric acid. Now see here, at the fifth end, the phosphoric acid will be attached through ester bond. So this bond is known as phosphoester bond. So this is your one nucleotide made. Now see another nucleotide. So this is your again glycosidic bond with another nitrogenous base. This is your ester bond which we are doing, going to draw. So this is your ester bond at the fifth carbon. Now see here, we are going to make diester bond. Now see here, this is the diester bond formation is done. So this bond is phosphodiester bond. So total three bonds are there. One is your glycosidic bond. One is your glycosidic bond. One is your phosphoester bond. And another is your phosphodiester bond. We have to remember nucleoside has only glycosidic bond. between sugar and nitrogenous base. Nucleotides have glycosidic bond phosphoester bond. And dinucleotides, dinucleotides have glycosidic bond, phosphoester bond, and phosphodiester bond. See the diagram here. These are the two nucleotides and in between them this is the diester bond. We know DNA is 
polynucleotide. So this is one nucleotide we have made it. Now see another nucleotide. This is the diester bond. So this is your second nucleotide. On the second strand, our orientation of the sugar will be changed. See the numbering, this is your first carbon, second, third, fourth, and here it will be your fifth carbon. CH2OH. So this is your orientation of sugar and to this your first position only we are using and we are attaching the nitrogenous base. So now see here, this is your uh, Easter bond formation again. So this nucleotide and this two nucleotides complementary base pairing rule says the adenine will then pair with the thymine with the help of two hydrogen bonds. Now see with the next nucleotide. This is again your nitrogenous base. And here diester bond formation is done. And two hydrogen bonds are made between adenine and thymine. Let us again make the third nucleotide pair. Again the first four diester bond. See this side also for the complementary base pairing. Here in front of the G, C will come. This is your diester bond formation is done. And three hydrogen bonds are made in between the GC base pair. Three hydrogen bonds are there. So we can, from this diagram it is clear, the A pairs with T with the two hydrogen bond and G pairs with C with the three hydrogen bond. Nucleoside has only glycosidic bond. Nucleotides have Glycosidic bond as well as phosphoester bond. Dinucleotide has glycosidic bond, phosphoester bond. and phosphodiester bond. DNA, which is double helix model, has glycosidic bond, Phosphoester, Phosphodiester, and hydrogen bonds. 
I hope this topic is clear. Now let us revise the few questions based on this. Now numerical practice session. If DNA has 10 base pair, if they give the question that DNA has 10 base pair, then how many glycosidic bond will be there? Your, your question is you have to find the glycosidic bond, you have to find the phosphoester bond, and you have to find the phosphodiester bond. And question is minimum number of hydrogen bond. Minimum number of hydrogen bond. If this question is given, then we can solve, see here, solution. 10 base pair is given to us. 10 base pair means 20 bases are there. First of all, we have to convert the base pair into Basis 20 bases are given to us. So glycosidic bond will be 20 only. Phosphoester bond will be 20. But phosphodiester will be 18. And minimum number of hydrogen bond will be 20. Now see how you are able to solve this question. See this presentation. So let us see how we will solve it. First of all, we will write the five base pair here. These are your diester bond. And these are your hydrogen bonds. Now if you see in the diagram, I have drawn five base pair. Five base pair means 10 bases will be there. 10 bases means Glycosidic will be equal to the base only. Glycosidic and phosphoester is equal to base number. But if you check the diester carefully, then you can make one formula for diester. Base pair is multiplied by 2. Whatever total you are getting, you subtract 2 from it, then you will get the answer for the diester. So here your 5 base pairs are there. Multiplied by 2 means 10 bases, minus 2 means your 8. So same we have applied here. If they are giving the question 10 base pair, it means 20 bases. So 20 minus 2, 18 diester we will be getting it. Minimum number of hydrogen bonds is seen in 80 base pair. And maximum number of hydrogen bond is seen in GC base pair. So is it clear minimum number of hydrogen bond is seen in 80 base pair and maximum number of hydrogen bond is seen in maximum number of hydrogen bond are seen in GC base pair. So when they are giving the question 10 base pair, 10 base pair are present and they are asking minimum number of hydrogen bond, then you know minimum number hydrogen bond will be with 80 base pair. So obviously 10 into 2, 
20 will be your minimum hydrogen bond and 10 into 3 will be your maximum hydrogen bond i hope all the bonds which are present in dna this topic is clear to you thanks for watching if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel